If you like our videos, please subscribe us and click the bell icon to get our all tutorials. Subscribe to Smart Optometry. Let's talk about corresponding retinal points versus non-corresponding retinal points. Corresponding retinal points, retinal elements of the two eyes that share a common subjective visual direction are called corresponding retinal points. In the diagram alongside, you can see that fovea of the left eye and the fovea of the right eye are being stimulated simultaneously by the common fixation point straight ahead. Another point N stimulates the corresponding nasal retinal point A in the right eye and the temporal retinal point P in the left eye respectively. They have a common visual direction. So, for the fixation point N, nasal retinal point A in the right eye corresponds to the temporal retinal point P in the left eye. They have common visual direction directed rightward. It does not matter whether a stimulus reaches the retinal element in one eye alone or its corresponding partner in the other eye alone or whether it reaches both simultaneously. Nasal side of one retina corresponds to temporal side of other retina and vice versa. Retinal point 5 degrees temporal to fovea in right eye corresponds to retinal point 5 degrees nasal to fovea in the left eye. In the diagram below, along with the fovea of the left eye and the fovea of the right eye, the nasal retinal points A, B, and C in the right eye correspond to the temporal retinal points P. Q and R in the left eye. Non-corresponding retinal points. All other retinal elements are non-corresponding or disparate retinal points. In the diagram alongside, you can see that fovea of both eyes are stimulated by a common fixation point straight ahead. Another point A stimulates nasal points AL and AR in the left and the right eyes respectively. These points, being non-corresponding points, have different visual directions that cross beyond the fixation point and so the object appears to be further away. Another point B stimulates temporal retinal points BL and BR in the left and right eyes respectively. These points are non-corresponding points and so the object appears to be closer than the fixation point. So, when the objects stimulate non-corresponding points, this gives rise to different visual directions and leads to physiological diplopia. Therefore, corresponding points have the same principal visual direction and non-corresponding points have different visual directions. In the figure above, point A and point B stimulates disparate points or non-corresponding retinal points.